How's it going everyone? So in this video we are continuing our HTB Academy module intro to network traffic analysis and we're in the Wireshark section and we're going to complete uh, this fourth set of questions here under packet inception dissecting network traffic with Wireshark. Um, so these ones um, are a little bit complicated not too bad. Uh, the documentation does provide um, some helpful hints and a walkthrough on how to uh, solve these answers. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything in the documentation, um, but I'll definitely help you guys walk through and um, show you how to arrive at the answers. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump to the questions. Um, and we're going to actually do the second question first um, because you do have to start a packet capture um, for like a minute and a half. So while that's going, we can do the first question. So the second question says, which employee is suspected of performing potentially malicious actions in the live environment? All right. So if you scroll back up, um, in order to RDP to that machine to do a packet capture, um, we have to use this command, which will use X-free RDP to spawn an RDP session. Um, and it says you can find the target, IP, username, and password needed below. So if we go back down, um, we have our uh, username, we have our password, um, and then we have our target. And don't forget to spawn your target system. Um, so what I like to do is I like to copy and paste it into my environment. So here's my Kali Linux VM. So what I do is I go on my notepad and I kind of pre-fill the target IP. Um, so in my case, that's 10.129.4.135. Um, so before I was doing this video, I did have a little issue with it. It kept disconnecting uh, from the RDP session. Um, but if you try it like a couple times, it'll get you back in. Um, so today, for whatever reason, um, the HTB servers are kind of um, not playing along nicely today. So, um, But uh, we should be able to um, get it done, no problem. So let's go ahead and spawn that RDP. So paste that, hit enter. So you can see here at the top, this is when it failed. Um, it said error, 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 error. When it succeeds, it gives you all this good stuff. Um, and so right now it looks like it's probably gonna fail, um, which is okay, because we'll get it working. And you just kind of have to just up arrow, hit it again. Um, boom, just like that. All right, so we'll make it quick. So we'll click on activities, and then you're going to click the Wireshark icon. And then this will boot up the analyzer here. And then the interface we're checking is ENS224, and I'll show you in the documentation why that is. Um, and then you're gonna click this uh, shark symbol here, and that's gonna start the packet capture on that interface. Um, so we're gonna leave that running. Um, and probably for, for about a minute and a half, two minutes, um, and then we'll get what we need. So while that's going, let's tackle the first question. Um, what was the file name of the image that contained a certain transformer leader? Now, in order to do this question, you go to the resources and you download the Wireshark Lab 2 resources um, file. So I'm gonna bring that on this screen because I have it on my other screen. Um, so I'm gonna open up the file that I already downloaded and then I'm going to put my Wireshark over here. So here's the capture that we have. And so one of the things it wants us to do um, is it wants us to filter the results, right? Um, so it says we see a lot of traffic, um, over 1,100 packets. Um, and so um, it wants us to filter kind of based on the HTTP uh, protocol, right? Um, so while they're doing, um, while we're doing, you know, going through the documentation here, the two main filters that you want is HTTP and this JFIF, and they combine it um, at the end. Um, and I'll show you here in a little bit, right here. And then you're going to use these two. So what you do is you go up here in the filter, you type HTTP only, and that's going to show you all the HTTP traffic. And here's our first clue. If you look down here, we have a JPEG file, right, called water. And then we have up here called rise-up and htb, right? And they're all JPEG files, right? So you see all this HTTP traffic, and then when it involves a file, um, 
you can see that the .jpg is there in the info. So, but now what if you want to just to get the packets that are HTTP, but also have files? Well, simple. You come up here. Um, I had it pre-filled um, or cached so that I can uh, click on it uh, quicker. So it's HTTP space and then two ampersands, another space, and then image dash JFIF. And again, you can find that here. So you can just copy and paste that in there. Um, so once you filter on that, you're going to get three, um, three images here. And in order to export them and view them, you go to File. Um, you're going to Export Objects, HTTP. And then now when you click on the JPEG files, you can see which packet gets highlighted and that corresponds to. So let's save them all. We can view them. So we'll save HTB. Click Save and then Save again and then rise up, save, and save again. And you'll know that uh, rise up was the answer if you looked at my answer previously in this video. Um, so let's click close once we save all that. So now if we look at the images that we saved, we can see that rise up has that transformer image there. So rise up um, is the answer. And then it wants not just the name, but the the extension here so make sure you put dot jpg in there um, and that's pretty much it for that one um, and again most of it can be found here um, and you can see also it says three or so so when we used that combined uh, display filter um, we only saw three packets so that tells us that we you know we're on the right track we're doing um, the exercise right all right, so with the packet capture on the second question, let's go ahead and check on that. And yeah, so see it disconnected, but that's okay. We will go back in. All right, cool. It's been a little friendly, friendlier this time. Before it would take a couple tries to even get here. Um, so this should have, um, if it disconnects from you, wherever you left off, it should stay there. Yep, right here. So it's been capturing, um, at least I think it's been capturing. Yeah, cool. So I'm gonna stop the capture because it's been well over a couple minutes. Um, now I'm gonna show you the answer here really quick. So it's gonna be um, HTTP, you're gonna filter by HTTP, um, and then you're gonna get all of these HTTP requests in the packet capture. Now we wanna look for a suspicious user. And you can see here that uh, the requests that are going through, they're going to some type of uh, URLs. So one is trying to register, um, maybe create an account. One's going to index.php. Uh, one is has logged out. Um, one is doing forgot password. So maybe, you know, he's trying to reset a password. And then one right here, admin.php. Is he trying to get admin access maybe? You know, and he's maybe trying to reset the credentials so he can get in. Um, so it could be, you know, um, one of those things. Now, if we go to post login and we right click and, uh, I think it might've disconnected me. Come on. Yeah. It disconnected me. Let's see if we can get back in. I was trying to go quick and walk you through it, but, um, I guess it just wouldn't allow me, but while that's kind of freaking out, um, if I go through the documentation here, right, um, one of the first things that wants you to do is look at FTP, right? So FTP first, then HTTP. Um, now, one of the questions it asked was, were we able to determine if an authenticated user was performing these actions or were they anonymous? Um, so quick hint, they were anonymous and I'll show you. Um, so that's why when I jump back in, I just straight filtered by HTTP so I can give you the answer, but my... Uh, the network connection at HTB is just really struggling. Um, so it's under HTTP analysis. Um, so since we saw anonymous for FTP, let's see if there's any traffic within HTTP that can show us an, auth an uh, authentic authenticated user. Um, so let's see if we can jump back in here and let's see if it will spawn us our session. Maybe not. Try it again. 
Yeah, sometimes these things, I know when I was working on this yesterday, um, it was working pretty well. Um, it was actually flawless yesterday. Um, but then I had some mic issues and when I recorded my microphone, for some reason decided just to, um, like it was um, every like so, every like couple seconds, it would like phase out and then you couldn't hear me for a couple seconds. So I was like, well, I'll record this again tomorrow. Um, so that's what we're at here. But if you encounter this, just keep going in and boom. Okay. So if we go to post login and we right click, go to follow TCP stream, you're going to see that Bob is the authenticated user here. And I think you can even see his password here too, um, which is not good. So yeah, this guy um, over uh, HTTP, which is a non-encrypted port, um, we can see all his stuff. We can see his password here. Um, and we can see the a we can even see the HTML here. So Bob is um, the malicious actor. And if I go filter by FTP, right? Because that's what I want us to do in the beginning. Um, you can see here that the user is anonymous. And if you keep looking down, again, user anonymous. So they're mostly just anonymous. Um, and so that's why it's like, well, maybe FTP is not showing much here. Let's switch over to HTTP and see if there's anything else there. So that's when we filtered by HTTP, right? And then we were kind of filtering through and being like, okay, well, he's going to index.php, maybe trying to get to a web page, and then he's trying to get to an admin web page, right? And then um, he went to a 404 not found, and even he went to a forgot password. So he's, maybe he's trying to reset the admin credentials. He's like, well, I don't know them. Maybe I can just click forgot password and maybe I can reset it there, right? So looks like he's trying to do something fishy here. Um, and so that's why the answer is Bob. Um, we looked at the post login. Um, and so when we did follow TCP stream, I'm not sure if it'll let me do it here because the connection's not being too good. Yeah. But in any case, you guys saw it. When you right click follow and when you um, follow TCP stream, you'll see that Bob is in clear text and you also see his password. So the answer is Bob. Um, pretty easy, B-O-B. -B. Um, let me see if there's anything else here that is of importance for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so there's some other things you can do. For instance, you can um, export you know, a JPEG file. Um, but what I did is FTP, when it wanted me to do FTP analysis, and I just filtered on FTP, as soon as I saw anonymous, I was like, all right, let me just, let me just go directly to HTTP. If I don't find anything in HTTP, I'll go back to FTP and see if there's anything else that I can glean from that. Um, you know, because we could filter more results with different filters, right? But as soon as I saw anonymous, I was like, well, I'll go back to it. Let me see if HTTP is there. Um, so, but there you go, guys. I hope you guys found this um, video helpful and useful. If you did, uh, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below um, and we'll talk to you guys later.